vintage vinyl person. All on how you do it. No one owns any samples, you know what I'm saying? But if you do it in a way different from how the next person did it, and it's dope, then you're dope. I would like to know what era that, that somebody can say that I ever had a ghost producer. Molly Ma never jerked me. That don't mean he produced it because he went got the clear version. He went got the clear version for me to loop. Was down in my basement one day playing that record. It kind of like, it, it touched me in a strange way. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, wow, no one used this part of the record or no one touched that. Why didn't they do that? You know what I'm saying? I'm bugging like, damn, they didn't hear that? Japan like has everything. You know what I'm saying? From 12 inches, from rap 12 inches, from R&B 12 inches. Show me what album has this and that. No, you go find that You're on your own. How could I bring that aspect that I was brought up in hip hop off of? How could I bring that to the wax? I used to go to people's house and ask them, do you have any old 45s? Back then, your beat had to say something. That's that's how people got into your record. If it had a break to it, Van Bada was was definitely cutting it up, man. I don't even know what the, as far as sampling what the trend is. I mean, it's it's really kind of just taking anything, like the lack of songs and just trying to make something good out of it. I love digging, and I'm probably gonna be a digger for the rest of my life, but I'm not sampling no more to make no records. Hip-hop wasn't brought up that way. Hip-hop evolved through sampling. 